that if I'm so vast, if I is an ocean, you'll continue to dip your hands in the, the fount of knowledge is inexhaustible. We'll talk about that later. Any other what question? What's the answer? The answer is yes, right? How? To your question, the answer is yes, right? It's not yes, because they are not your ancestors. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any other question? No, Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, children. Oh, sorry. They're all children. Everyone is God's children. That is it. Yeah. You see, these are things that we need to put in their proper perspective. Mm -hmm. But later we will discuss about it. Because there are so many things that we need to know. Yes. Oh. Um, when you again, yes, the other question, um, was only the question was kind of a statement based um, not only on, on study, but what you were saying yesterday. I think a lot of times we have to look at how it is that we translate the fact, what we believe that it, it is, overall, how, how narrowly we translate it, and how widely we translate what the study of Ifa is. For some people, Ifa is a very narrow thought that, that is limited to Yoruba speaking people, particular areas. Different areas, Ibadan, Ile Ife, whatever it may be, as opposed to if the wide translation of Ifa as as truth, living truth. Can you speak to that or not? Thank you very much. One thing is your worldview determines your level of That's right. Let me recite one Ubu in your Kumiji. Ibono is in Sokoto state of Nigeria. It is not even among the Yorubas. Dubai is in where? In the Middle East. And that is what Ifa is talking about. Where is tomorrow? In the Middle East, and that is Ifa talking. So how can you now say that it is now? The reason is you cannot be wiser than your brain. You cannot say anything that you have not studied. You see, people, many of us, what we study in Ifa is what will give us our daily bread. Yes, go and bring two chi goods. Go and bring two hen because Ifa said so. But you need to also study the philosophical aspect of it. Yes. You will see that Ifa touches every part of the world. Okay. And when you are, you will be surprised that many of us, we don't even know what Ifa is talking about. It's like when there is going to be rain, and you'll find out that they say, no, this rain is coming from Kilimanjaro. What do they mean by Kilimanjaro? It is a hill because it is relief, the rain will fall. Yes. And that is Kilimanjaro. But that's what Father will tell us, it is coming from Kilimanjaro. That is the way they pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So it means that one way or the other, if I had reached that place. Is that not so? Yes. I was in Uganda to see some people who were initiated into Shogo. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised that it is the same Shogo that we are talking about in Yoruba. Mm -hmm. That they were talking about. Mm -hmm. I have been to the Falashas, mm -hmm. the black Jews. I have seen them using Ike mm -hmm. to cast Ifa. So, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Everything depends likely on how far you have gone. Yes. Right. And yes. then you will, you will be able to talk mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. So, Ifa is what you can use to explain what is happening to you now. We write about the annual Ifa divination from Ileife. Mm -hmm. I write it right. all the time. We have written things that have come through all over the world. Was that not so? Yes. Uh -huh. So it means that we did not limit ourselves to Ibadan, <laughs> Jebu, or Ileife, or uh -huh. It means that we were able to explain everything that will be happening and it has been happening. Mm -hmm. So if I something that nothing stops you from using it to explain world affairs, and when you do it well, you get the right results. That's right. So it means that, like I said, you cannot study a little bit because you want to eat and think that that will give you the solution to the world problems. You have to study as a scholar. You don't need to read too much before you become an first scholar. You don't need to have long certificates 
before you do it. All what you need to do is the determination to extract information. Because in fact, you can read the fact between the lines and get results. Mm -hmm. So all those breakdowns that we we are giving you about IFA. They are for you to see what IFA is hiding there. Because it's not everything that IFA will say one word. But when you sit down and you hear what they are saying, you will be able to see. There are so many sentences in IFA that talk so much about your black culture. But if you don't study it, you will only be seeing the message. Yes, IFA says you want to travel. You must not travel. Because IFA says that the traveling is fraught with danger. True, that is it. But if I will be using sentences that shows you this is the culture of the people that you are talking about, yeah. or this is sometimes if I will tell you about the other people's culture. I have read so many things about the fact that if I will be speaking in another language that is not Yoruba, when we young, akwe kade ebu women, akwe women kade ko. It's not Yoruba. It is a language, and it is in Ifa. So. Whatever you read, the way you read it, the way you study, determines what you are going to get. Mm -hmm. And that is why you cannot study Ifa through the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need a Baba Ifa, you need an Yanifa mm -hmm. yes. to do. Because at the end of the day, you have to be paying them homage, mm -hmm. which you cannot pay the internet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yemoja, Yemoja from the language and the word Yemoja means Ye Omoja, mother of fish. Yes. That's the meaning of Yemoja. And Yemoja is also another Orisha you know, that you know, had really achieved remarkable feats on earth. And um, it's like um, Yemoja to you know, being a water divinity, you know, has also been towing along the path of Oshun in terms of childbearing. And we, and then, Jemoja, from my experience, um, she suffered uh, childbearing for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, after which, um, you know, when she had when eventually she had children, uh, and then you know, she she normally uses her experience over a long period of time in dealing with children and in you know, the kind of experience she had gone through for her to give birth you know, to children. So she had always been also being of assistance to other women to go. Uh, really need children. Uh, Yemoja um, is an Orisha, not an Inumole. Mm -hmm. Not an Inumole. Um, is like the way if I talks about some Orishas, sometimes you know, just like um, the chief said the other time, not only human beings that became. Um, Orishas, other living beings, even other beings that we couldn't even see with our naked eyes, and you know they became Orisha because of what they, they were able to achieve on Earth. So, but Jemoja, as far as we know, is also an Orisha that um, is, in, is into um, taking care of children. And any woman who is, you know, in want of the fruit of, um, in, in, who is really um, in want of the fruit of the womb, Jehovah also assists and has been doing that um, in conjunction with Oshun because both of them are water uh, divinities. So as time goes on, we will add to it. Thank you. I have a question. Is Oshu fresh water and is Yemanja salt water? And the second question is what is the difference between Yemanja and Oroko? Mm -hmm. Thank you.
This is what we are going to do. We will talk about Yemoja. In the process, maybe some of the questions will be answered. But later, we will address what you have just said now. There is no way you will talk about Yemoja without talking about Ogun. Because when Yemoja was in their need of a baby, it was Ogun who permitted her. And that's why they say Yemoja Aguyo. Because they met on the way. Ogun was performing, and the Yemoja went there to watch the performance of Ogun. One thing led to the other, and she became pregnant. <laughs> and when they asked her, how do you say, I have gone to watch the performance of Ogun. Aguyo, that was how I became pregnant. But she did not use the word pregnant. She used the word, I became full. Mm -hmm. That I will yo, mm -hmm. and that's how she began to give back to children. By that time, the Babala was there, had told her to prepare 160 plates, that she would use all those plates to feed her children. Then she was wondering, how would that happen? And you could see that. Many of these mermaids, they give birth in literally millions. But Yemaja is the pantheon head of all those mermaids. That is what has happened. Then Yemaja, from what you have said, they said Yemaja is uh, the goddess of the soft water. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anywhere there is water. Anywhere that you can find fish, you can find the Yes, that's because that's what the first said. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere that there is river that you won't find fish. That's what the first said. And that is it. Whether it is salt water or whether it is not salt water, as long as you have it, you have the There. The same thing also. The way Osho operates is totally different from the way the Maja operates. Because you should understand that Osho has that higher spirituality than the Maja. But that is what you need to know. Because all the humans, when they come into this world, they had no father, they had no mother. They, did not, they were not born here and they did not die here. But all of them adopted mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. There was a time that Osho adopted Yemoja as her mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was when, when you find people saying that uh, uh, Yemoja was the mother of Osho. They are correct, mm -hmm. but she is the adopted mother mm -hmm. of Osho. So the moment we continue to understand how all those human how they operate, we will understand what we are talking about. So that is one thing. Then you talked about Olokun. There are four different types of Olokun. Not one, not two, four. There was one Olokun that was there during the primordial time. That is the one that is called Olokun Jinji. Olokun Jinji was an human. Was a human then. Okay. Male. All the other Olokun, okay, let's do it this way. Olokun Jinji is a male divinity. When Olodumare first created this world, there was no water on the surface of the world, but Olodumare gave that Olokun six pots. Those six pots were put in strategic places of this world. That was why you will find in Nifa when they will be talking of when Olokun's water was not enough to wash the eyes, when Olosa's water was not enough to wash the legs. They know what they are talking about because there were only six pots on earth. Pots. 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 Yes. So that was how. Oh, sorry about my argot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is. So. But Oluku went to all the 256 Odus for a consultation. I want to become big. And she offered all the above. How would she not become big? 
And all of us are went to 128 and offered all their own. That's why all of us are, the goddess of the land cannot be as big as, 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 as Oloku. That is why. The second Oloku is Oloku Senyade. Oloku Senyade was the wife of Odudua. The wife of Odudua, a female energy. Odudua. And then the third Oloku is Oloku Ajao Koto. Say again, please. Olokun Ajao Okoto. Ajao A J A O. Then Okoto A O G O T O. Ajao Ajao Okoto. So male energy. Then we have the fourth one is Olokun Asorodayo, which is Olomila. Yes, because Olomila is also Olokun. Oloku Aso Daio. Oloku Aso A S O R O D A Y O. Oloku Aso Daio. That's what I'm going So those are the four Oloku that we have. And only one was male. This, this only, one, only one was female. female. Excuse me? Only one was female. The second one. The second one. Oloku Sanyade. Oloku no, Olosa is yes. not Olopu. Olosa is the lagoon, not for uh, the sea. So you will see that yes. it was Olopu Seniade who invited Orumila to come and stay with her for divination. And so that's one thing about the human they don't discriminate. When anything happens, they will listen to one another. The story of uh, Yemoja and Ogun, you can get that in Oturukon Hirete. Oturukon Tete, yes. Oturukon Hirete. So, you see, yesterday I said that the story of all the young mothers and Odisha, they are in the first story. That's why I'm giving you all of this. So, it, in the world image, that was where Yemoja uh, went to consult Ifa about her childlessness. And that's where they prescribed what she used. She used it and she became successful. One thing that I just want us to understand here is that no matter what we have gone to from Ifa, if you don't get it immediately, it is a question of time. If you don't get, get it, it. Mm -hmm. it's a question of time. Just make sure that you don't ask stupid questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because what the father said is that if you be the silly go go to see, if you ask me a foolish question, I can answer the It's like we wake up in the morning, hundred dollars, my wife, take. Cook me my favorite food. <laughs> The wife went to the market, cooked your favorite food, and placed it on the table. Oh, darling, the food is ready. Then you went and picked your opponent. Must I eat this food? The <laughs> <laughs> first says that you will be told not to eat it. Yeah. Why the food is not good? Because you have asked a stupid question. Why did you give out your money when you know that you yes. still need to ask such questions? <laughs> A 70-year-old woman went for a power consultation. Will I be able to give back to a baby? Oh. First I would tell yes, we are going to give back to twins and triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> because that is what you want to hear. Mm. And incidentally, people hear what they want to hear. They see what they want to see and they know what they want to do. All of these things that we are talking now, people will still pick what they need. Mm. See, it's not everything that we say here that will be relevant to us. We know the reason why we are here. Oh, we want to talk about you know, Yemoja or Shun and the okay. I'm going to talk about this because that is how he does it. So if you have any questions about Yemoja or Lukum, you can ask so that we will move forward. Yes. I just have one question about the first Olokum, the final Did Ogun come before that um, Olokum or 
after. Okay, thank you. When the world was about to be made habitable to beings, not human beings, mm -hmm. everything was the way it was. Don't forget that what if I says that everything was started through the process of the deals that are coagulating and they are condensing. So there is no such thing as water, there is no such thing as anything. So it was when Ogun came, and then the impression people got was that Ogun used the cosmos. No, Ogun was an astronaut. Ogun charted that path that they would take to come to this planet Earth. So he was first? Yes, he was the first. Okay. When he got to this planet Earth, he came with some of his own uh, uh, entourage, his own entourage oh. including Ija, including Oshosi, mm -hmm. and so forth. So they came, but they brought wood, mm -hmm. and they started the work. Mm -hmm. But later they needed food, there was no food, they were eating the wood. Okay. They got a story that they could not cope again, they went back to heaven. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord Mary sent to Batala. Obatala took the same path that Ogun had charted mm -hmm. to come into this world because to them, when they are not like our modern day politicians. <laughs> no matter the project that their predecessors had started, they just wanted to create a link, a new name for themselves. All of them will be abandoned projects. They will start their own. Mm -hmm. And then they will not be able to finish it before they too mm -hmm. left. The next the answer is not like that. Mm -hmm. The moment you have achieved something, they follow you. Mm -hmm. And that was what had happened. So, after that, mm -hmm. because of the mistake of Ogun, Obatala came with a lot of water. That they would drink water. Part of the people who followed Obatala was Olokun. Mm -hmm. So, they now deposited the water in six strategic places of this planet. And they began to drink water. It got to a stage that the water could not sustain them again. But because they had already put it there, even the belly of this very planet was filled with water. Mm -hmm. But the water was not coming up. It was just like that. So they went back and reported that they did not succeed. Then the Lord Mary asked Ormila to come. When Ormila was coming, Ormila went to the group of Babala who called Agbadudu Orimo mm -hmm. to cast the fact. How are we going to do to succeed? Mm -hmm. They were the ones who advised Ormila to bring a lot of food. That bring food, bring this, bring that. They came and they brought all those things. And Ormila came with his own entourage. Too. They, came, they started to plant. The first plant that germinated on the planet Earth is the one called Spinach. Amaranthus SPP. Amaranth. Yes. That was the first one that germinated. What is it, Papa? You can't even back. Amaranth. 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 Yes. Spinach. 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 Oh, is the one from Trinidad or the one from Jamaica? Oh. Can't you see that it's almost everywhere? Everywhere. It's almost everywhere in the world. Because that was the first game that we terminated. And that's why we call it Tete Tete Daye. Or Tete Abalaye, the Tete of the primordial time. Yes. And when you look at it, there are four different types of Tete. Yes. The one that we are talking about, when you see it, it is different from the others. Yes, Most of the ones that we eat in the, that we buy in the supermarket, they are not the real one. But as far as I'm concerned, Tete is Tete. <laughs> you don't need to send them bills to your land because you want to use them. <laughs> use what you have to get. Yes. It is there. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So and mm -hmm. when they came back, Olodu Mari made Onumela the head of the delegate. And the other said, Why? We too we worked. 
And what they did that time, we still replicate it today. When we wake up in the morning, those of us from the motherland, we use our toast stick, you use your brush. After that, you use water to clean your mouth, you use water to bath, and after that, you go and eat. Those are the things that the three women did at that time, and that's what we are still doing up till today. And there is nothing that is happening today that had not happened before. Mm -hmm. We may use different technology to do it, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that is what the fact said. Any other question? Yes. How can we learn more about the Orishas? Because there's so many books out, there's so many different <laughs> stories, and, and I'm so confused, and I want to know what's the proper way to learn so much more about them. Thank you very much. This world has moved to the stage now that any Orisha that you want to know about, you must also learn the fact. Because if I tell the story of all the Orisha, I can come here and tell you any story that I like. All what you need to ask me is where did you get that story? And I will let you know it must come from Ifa. What I've just said now came from Ijibu. Anything, it must come from Ifa. And when it comes from Ifa, then you have the authority to redeem it. Then there is another thing that you also need to be aware of, the interpretation of the Awu, mm -hmm. who is telling you the story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when they come with all sorts of fancy interpretations, don't bother your head. Read it yourself. And then read between the lines, the stories are there. What if I meant will be there. So don't let anyone confuse you. Get the Odu that they said that. Uh, they got the story from the Read it yourself. You'll get the information that you need. That is the stage that we have reached now. The world has now become a global village. You can get any information you have at any time. So that's it. Any other question about the woman? I just want to comment, Baba, that if um, you're saying that you have to read the story yourself, but you also have to have an, you have to also have work on educating your or read. Because everyone will read a story, interpret, read between the lines. If you don't understand language, mm -hmm. and if you don't have an educated or read, you're still going to come away with, with less than what's the truth. Thank you. That's why I said all of us must have our Baba by far. Right. Uh, they are, the they are there to guide us. Sometimes they may not even tell you the whole story. Right. You will still get the whole story because they will just give you the foundation. <coughs> you will get the whole story. And then there are some occasions that you find one story in over 20 different stanzas. Mm -hmm. When you put everything together, you get the complete story. Then you will know what to do. You see, when I was saying that, Otrupo Irete, that's when you get the story of Yemoja. He corrected me that even in Urimeji. That so when you put Urimeji and Otrupo Irete together, you get the story of Yemoja. Which Meiji? Urimeji. Urimeji. Yes. So you will get the story of Yemoja. That's <coughs> what I feel that we need to do. We need to exercise our brains. We have gotten to that stage mm -hmm. that we must exercise our brain. If that is what you believe in, you must do it and do it very well. I have seen some pastors that they can quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. What stops us from doing this? Although the Bible is so small compared to the <laughs> Bible. <laughs> but let's start from somewhere. When you see an average Babalawu, even if it is only four stanzas that you learn, you are bigger than a professor. Because multiply four in 256 and then know how many things that you have in your head. So that's what we are saying. We need to move forward. Mm -hmm. We need to do what we are supposed to do so that the world will know that, yes, we are there. And like I told you yesterday or two days ago, if you don't tell the world that, here I am, nobody will ask you, where are you? <laughs> so we need to show them that we are there. And all of these things that we are talking about, let us use them to build our community. Mm -hmm. Let us use the Osho model. How does Osho help in building the community? Let us use the model of Yemoja. And the model of Yemoja is how do you gather the children together and teach them the right path? Mm -hmm. How do you go about getting the right relationship? Talk to me, Oshun. After the right relationship and you have the children, talk to Yemoja. 
let him assist you to do what you are doing. Then if that is the case, if you treat, if you train your children properly, you expect a better society. Mm -hmm. I want the African and the, and the Hispanic community to go back to what you have been doing in the 60s. Mm -hmm. In the 50s and 60s, go back there. Mm -hmm. The model is there, when there is prosperity. All what I am saying all along is live with the other communities with joy. Not with regret. <laughs> Not with, oh, and if it were to be in the 50s and 60s, we have been very prosperous. Where is it? Forget about those regrets. Let us talk about how to move forward and build that same society again. Don't allow anyone to come in between you and development. Mm -hmm. Don't allow. And don't create so much self-hate that will not make you to move. Mm -hmm. We have reached a stage that too much you must move. Yes. Because what I am saying is, at the end of the day, whether we are initiated into Ifa or initiated into Indonesia or whatever, we are going to die. If we are not initiated, we are going to die. The important thing is, what are we going to tell Olodumare? What are we going to say that we have done mm -hmm. when we are on that? We will be saying that we kept complaining <laughs> that uh, they did not allow us to develop. Nobody wants you to develop. Get that clear. <laughs> no, but you will try yourself. You will have that extra energy, that extra determination. I'm going to succeed. I have come into this world to make a difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can all of us say that? Yes. I have come into this world to make a difference. Because that is why I am here today. It is for me to make a difference. Don't forget that I come from a Muslim background. My friend here comes from Ifa background. The father is the father is one of my teachers. So that is why we are so close. But I come from an Islamic background and here I am today. And I'm heading the council of Ifa devotees the world over. So it is an achievement. And that is not it is not the name President International Council for Ifa Religion. That's not what I want to go and tell God. I want to go and tell God these are the things that I have put on ground. For people to see, we all can do the same. Wow. We all can be part of it. We can be part. Look, create your own community. Let people see that the community is thriving. And not only that, make sure that you don't allow anybody to go there and destroy what you have. That's because I can assure you, the moment you start it, you will see those who will want to destroy it. You should not allow it to happen. Nobody wants success. <laughs> Especially when it is for other people. Mm -hmm. They want that success for themselves. That's right. Mm -hmm. Keep your own success and build on it. Mm -hmm. It means that while you are doing it and you are succeeding, you need to have a lot of people to surround yourself. That's why I said, look at the ant. The ant can continue to build. Yes. But instead, some are asked to build while they have soldiers mm -hmm. to guard what they are building. Right. Why can't we use that as example?